Hey guys, how's it going? So just popped in to see an agent. There's some potential deals there, so I'm quite excited. Um, so I think we're on video five now, sort of rapport building, uh, building connection relationships with people uh, as you go about your, your business day, as it were. And this video is very much focusing on sort of ice breaking, that, that rapport building. Um, the ability to just make someone laugh and just have a bit of fun, even if it's at your own expense, is hugely valuable because someone, it disarms that situation, it diffuses that situation and people then relax. When people are relaxed, they can talk, they can go through, um, you can talk about business, you can talk about things more freely. Um, and therefore you get more value. You can understand their problem more, the issue that you're trying to solve, and therefore gaining more information in structuring your pitch, your offer. So I always love to be self-deprecating. I always, my view is that I never take myself too seriously. Um, I play on my quirks. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm meeting somebody and for example, I, I went to a private school. I was really lucky to go to a private school. When I was younger, my parents really worked hard to put me through a private school. So I sound a bit posh and I sound, <laughs> I sound a bit, you know, up, um, yeah, a bit posh, shall we say. And I always make a joke. If someone's not from similar background, I'll say, you know, we might fall into, oh, are you local? Oh, what school did you go to? Oh, you know, I went here and I went there. And, oh. and if it's right, I'll say, well, that's, you know, that's why I sound like a bit of a posh twat. And I'll make a joke about it and we'll we'll laugh about it. Of course, it has to be appropriate to whoever you're speaking to. If you're talking to a builder and they're sweary and they're, they're, they're really blunt with their words, be blunt with yours. Have a laugh about it. If you're talking to someone who's a little more sensitive in what they're doing, be a bit more sensitive with your humour. Mirror them, as, as we were speaking about in one of my previous videos. Um, that, like I say, that ability to be self-deprecating. If you drop a joke, it falls flat on your face. Apologise. I'm so sorry. I have the most terrible sense of humour. And that usually is a good remedy for, for breaking that awkward tension. The other ability of of that ice breaking is to the moment you obviously get to know somebody and one of the key things with any any relationship any report is that it takes time it might take I mean they say seven touch points uh, whether that be phone calls meetings texts emails etc to get to know somebody but when you're in those touch points as it were understand what it is that they like outside of work because some of us are extremely happy to be in what we do and we can talk about what we talk about all day long i think my friends get very very bored of me talking about property all day long but i love property and i love business whereas oh crack someone's just parked next to me looking at me quite funny what am i doing um so find out what those people like to talk about i mean i remember i i met up with a a, a vendor sat down in their kitchen he sat there he had a glass of wine was sitting there chilling out I spent a good hour and a half chatting to him about previous projects. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a football fan. I know a lot of people are, so that's one of my downfalls. I'm trying. How did my business partner has tried to educate me on football, but I've struggled. I'll do my. I'll do better next time. But learning about other things, become a conversationalist. Listen to the, again the two ears and the mouth. In that particular example, we spent an hour and a half plus just chatting away. And the actual negotiating about the deal happened in about five minutes. The rest of the time was just us chilling out, enjoying ourselves, just being in being each other's company, which was really lovely to have. And I had the same with another, another um, contact. We sat there. We spent about half an hour just talking about good places to eat around Suffolk. And it was just these types of ability just to be conversational. And if you don't know about a topic so much, and it's clearly their passion, let them educate you. Let them educate you. Um, a really good way to sort of build up this skill. And it sounds really strange because as kids, we're taught don't talk to strangers. And then all of a sudden, when you go out into the real world, it's go talk to this stranger. You have to so you can make money. So it's a bit of a counterintuitive culture. And one of the big things I've found has helped me massively is when you're on a plane, when you're traveling, when you're going somewhere on a train, fall into conversation with the person next to you. And I tell you what, it is amazing what you'll learn about the world, about people. And even if it is, uh, to quote Fight Club, a single serving friend, um, just on a plane journey, 
it's that ability to practice and ability to listen and just keep a conversation going. I guarantee you, if you've got a three, four hour flight and you've got the person next to you so engrossed in the conversation, you can manage business conversations. That is a key skill. So next time you're doing that, have a bit of practice, have a joke with somebody, you're waiting for your rental car on your next holiday, oh, the queue's so long, just fall into the conversation. Where are you going? Where are you from? Whatever become a conversationist, break that ice and just get a person talking. Guys, I hope that helps. I think that's pretty much concluding our five part series of rapport building, getting to know people in business and outside of. Hope it's been helpful. Like, comment, share, any ideas, thoughts, please share them. I find it hugely valuable for myself, first and foremost, I was quite selfishly, but for everyone else looking. And yeah, guys, take care, speak soon.